Okay, so today I've just had delivered um, a new chair from Amazon that I ordered um, only uh, on Monday, only yesterday, and um, it's um, an observer chair. Um, you can see the, the leaflet here, the, or the, the label that's attached, it shows you some dimensions um, on there. Um, I wanted a small, lightweight chair uh, for my camper van. Um, I've, uh, I don't have a garage on my camper van, um, so um, I do carry a, ch a big chair sometimes, but it does get in the way. I've been on the lookout for a lightweight chair for quite a while now that wasn't particularly crazy expensive, uh, but also could be sturdy. I've sat on some that they just seem very, very flimsy, um, quite unstable, and also some of them, the, the heights on them can be very low as well. Um, and, and getting out of them can be a bit awkward. The seat height on this was a lot more reasonable when I looked at the specs. I can't remember what the seat height actually is now, but um, it was definitely a lot more reasonable than some of the lower ones. Um, so I was looking at some Helinox chairs, but they were quite expensive. Um, I think the one I was looking at was a Savannah and I'd been eyeing it up for a while. Uh, it was about 180 pounds and I couldn't really stomach it. And then looking around at some other reviews, I've, I've, I stumbled across some reviews on a number of chairs, um, of which this Robins Observer and maybe another Robins model as well, uh, did very very well. If not, the particular model actually won uh, the test. Um, I think that was more of a upright model that you can actually use to sort of more dining. That might be the Pathfinder maybe. Um, but I wanted something that had a high back on it um, that I could more sit at the side of the, the camper van and lo lounge outside, but still be light. And I still obviously I could eat from it anyway. Um, excuse me if the dog gets in the video. Um, so I've just got this today that so came from Amazon in a cardboard box and I've only taken a polythene sheet off the outside which was nice to see to protect it from uh, uh, muck and dust and whatnot while it's being stored. Um, really nice looking case actually. Um, feels a really nice quality. It's got a couple of um, a couple of loops on here at either side if I can move further out. I guess you could probably attach it to something uh, using them and there's a carry handle um, on this side here as well and then it's uh, just a zip all the way around so uh, what I'll do is I'm just going to unpack this and um, see, uh, see how I get on. Hopefully this is in shot and I'll do this here. This is totally new, we're uh, unboxing or unpacking, um, so see how we get on it. So, so I can remember myself, it's rolled up um, in the pack, let's put the bag to one side. It does feel nice quality material, um, I'll drill this part here, got some uh, instructions there, and obviously all the poles which are kind of a to the camera, it's like a bronzy sort of uh, uh, colour, uh, I'm sure it'll come out decent. It's, it's looking at it here, it's a little bit darker than it's coming out on the camera, it's a little bit more towards a, a, a copper, um, sort of not quite copper, but more sort of like a bronzy uh, look. There's a bit more red in it than is actually coming out on the video, and I'm just looking at the screen. Um, it looks really nice. Um, uh, so that's velcroed around to hold all these. Uh, uh, pieces together so I'm just going to untie that and let's have a look what we've got that's actually fastened around uh, that's fastened around one of the legs excuse this video is a little bit botch botch um, I don't have the best set up but here we go anyway so I'm just I'm going to go ahead and just going to connect all these together I think it should be self explanatory they'll just pop in they've got an elastic section um, for each of the legs sure it will all be self expansion with any luck I won't have to look at the manual at all and it should be all dead straight forward so far uh, so good all that must push through more yes it does um, uh, and 
now as well, so it's obviously the back side of things. Yeah, I hope this is coming out to be okay. Pushes through, all these push through and connect together very well. One of them fields have a problem. Yeah, that was straightforward enough. Um, this has got some uh, threads on, on this. I don't know if that's a little bit uh, a little bit loose there in parts maybe. Might be some bits that need tightening up there from the factory. Yeah, just those ends are a little bit on the slack side. Presumably they should be nipped up. Um, so that's the frame. Let's see if that's coming out okay on camera. Make sure the zoom's all right. Let me just zoom out a little bit if I can. I'll just go the camera out a little bit. I'll move this out. I'll move it all back. I think. So hopefully you can see the frame there. Let me just move this. Um, and really need to uh, look at the instruction manual at all. Fingers crossed, all, this will all be the same. I think I'll just be able to push this on um, every corner. Looking at the canvas material, which is really nice. Got a bit of padding. Um, the top portion's got some padding in um, for the top by your head. The rest of it isn't. Uh, you can see it's a mix of a, a mesh. Um, and some solid uh, material which feels like it will be extremely waterproof as well. Um, let's see how we get on. I think these might be angled the wrong way around actually, I'm sure they should be angled more forward to support the back, shape of the back, so I'm just going to do that. Let's see how we get on, let's push these on. Two in the top. It feels fairly sturdy as it is. Um, Actually, I think I've got this the, the, the wrong direction because actually, um, yeah, that's the right way it should be. Hopefully, it's coming on camera because on the, this, there's four legs at the bottom uh, with rubber feet on them. And uh, this has just got the standard rubber feet um, on this particular uh, chair at the minute. I've actually ordered some wider bump stops, which will probably be better on uh, softer ground, which you can in inevitably get. On some sites, particularly soft, and if it's been raining and whatnot, um, so I thought they'd be good to get the wider feet on. So I've actually ordered them um, again from Amazon, and I've ordered a bottle holder from Amazon. Um, I was going to order it from Robins Direct, um, um, but when I looked at it, some of the, some of the, the parts were a little bit cheaper. The bottle holder, the accessories were a bit cheap, cheap from there than Amazon. But um, by the time you'd factored in their delivery cost. And plus, um, there, there could have been some customs charges um, uh, to, to, that would need to be factored in as well. It would definitely have been more on top because there would have been VAT because uh, it was coming from, I think, Germany. Um, the last product sort of from, from Germany, there was 20% uh, VAT to pay, plus there was a customs charge, which may have been something like 5%. Um, so it would have definitely been, uh, been more expensive. Um, it was more expensive even without the customs charges. Uh, because of the delivery, because of the no delivery cost on Amazon Prime. Um, so, anyway, um, that's the right way around because we've got all four rubber feet on the bottom. Uh, it all looks like everything's in place where it looks like it should be, at least to me. Let's plunk these on. And I might do an embarrassing sit test. I'll probably look like a granddad. Um, let's just put these over each corner tight to these so that's that feels fairly tight at that point on that bottom edge one which is what you want anyway isn't it now this one needs looks like it's going to need a bit of a stretch making sure i've got it on fully on each corner before i do this so i don't want to rip anything or make, my, make the job hard for myself and it is it's all fully in place so let me get this in that needs a stretch and a squeeze i have to physically pick that up and uh, stretch that in place in order to, to uh, to make that the full uh, the full size. A bit of a click out of it there. Uh, so a quick look at the instructions. So here it's saying uh, this seems to be showing a few of the chairs that they do. There's quite a low seated chair, the higher one more um, sitting at a table uh, kind of thing, and then this one which is the upright one, which is the observer. So 
I think the uh, uh, oh, we've got a Pathfinder, which is the low one. We've got a Pilgrim one, which is a more seated position, um, and this one's between the two. I think for the seat height. So I think the one that I might have been considering with the Pilgrim, um, which is a higher, more uh, one that you would sit more at a table. But I decided I wanted something more high back, a bit more loungy. Um, but I could see there'd be some times where um, to have a a small packable uh, chair which is even smaller than this the bag for the, the the certainly i think it was the pathfinder it looked half the size of this one um so it's tiny but obviously i suppose there's a lot less poles and fabric so but probably is half the contents um so uk instructions how to assemble a robin's chair for the pole frame assemble a shock cord link frame attach the carry bag onto the frame to use a storage pocket underneath the seat oh that's pretty cool so that's what those two um uh, those two little loops were for, um, which I haven't done. Um, I'm not too bothered about that in a minute. Uh, so you can slide them together um, and reassemble a pole. Attach the front of the seat to the two poles and then attach the top, so you should do it that way around. Probably a little pressure to each pole to connect to the corner pocket of the seat. An optional extra, we've got a bottle holder which you can attach to the side, attached from the point of the chair as well, which I've, uh, I've gone for. And then the rest of the instructions on the back, we've got few more languages there, four or five languages as well on the back there. I'm just going to let the dog out because it's going mad for some reason. So there we go, this looks a little bit tight up this end at the minute. Um, I don't know if that's because of the order that I put things in. So it should have been the bottom first and then the top, so I don't want to rip anything or cause any damage. So. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take these off that side and the top here. Let's take them off. Yeah. It does form a, a huge part of the structure actually. You can feel all the flex as soon as you uh, disconnect, uh, which is typical of these lightweight chairs. But to be honest, it does feel um, the, 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 the pole structure does feel more substantial than some chairs that I've seen that have been quite a thin. Um, a thin diameter, I would say more than anything. A thin diameter aluminium. And um, this is actually, I think these are aluminium poles, um, but they're um, they are actually hollow. Um, but I think maybe as a result, um, the, with these being thicker diameter, I feel that could have played its part um, in, in, into um, the feeling of the strength that it gets even before you've actually put that on. Um, yeah, it's wobbly. But it will be, uh, because at the end of the day, um, let me put my camera up a little bit if I can. At the end of the day, it's a lightweight chair, isn't it? So it's going to be rob wobbly. Um, bring it a bit closer, we can see. Uh, got the Robins logo on the top. You can see the padding. Um, there's a, there's a, that must be for the bottle holder, I guess. The loop on that side, or a D clip, whatever you call it. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, so they're the standard feet that's on there, which get that propped on camera. They're the standard feet, which is so I'd say they're they're actually bigger than I thought they would have been because I've seen some of them on some of these chairs and they're that tiny. They, they, they're going to the ground far too easily. And they're 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 very good actually. Um, it's, it's giving me a good impression from the start to be quite honest with you. So here we go. No mercy. Bit of a creak. Yeah, I like the height of that. I actually think the height of that is um, is spot on. It feels very comfortable. There's a bit of a rock in it. Um, I'm about 17 and a half stone, something like that. Um, I don't know if that pushes the limits of it. Um, I don't think it is. I think it was 120 kilos and within that, I think. Um, yeah. Feels comfy enough. I mean, obviously, tight amount of time tells really. Um, I've heard some of you say it's not the widest chair in the world, it's a little bit narrow, um, but that for me is not too bad. I'm five foot ten, if that makes any gives any indication as to how things are. Um, shuffle myself around a little bit. Where's my head? Um, that feels all right, it doesn't quite go up to my head. Um, on, the, on the back but I'm certainly getting a lot more support on my shoulders than I would do in the low chairs because they would be just to the mid back 
um, so I'm getting the support there that I wouldn't otherwise have and I think that's uh, something that I really will, uh, will enjoy um, so yeah that's that I'm pretty impressed so far um, that looks pretty good shall I have a, go, have a look and see how it packs back down um, see how easy it is so I'm probably going to make a, a mess of this I don't remember exactly how it was, but let's take a bit of go. So that's uh, the base here, essentially, it needs to roll up into, um, and the velcro for the poles. Um, pull it all apart and see how we go. I think they all need to fall back down in towards the central uh, big pole at the end of the day. That's where they all need to, to, to collect to. Um, and the velcro needs to go around uh, uh, one of the, uh, the parts of this uh, to, in order to hold them all together so I think it's not going to matter as long as it's on one of them uh, so we'll see how we get on in that regard hopefully that's alright oops, sorry dog there we go back up there ooh nearly the end dog There we go, Velcro, just pick the leg, any leg, will it fit in the, the fat ones with the end on, it will, not a problem, so I'll put it down there, excuse my Yorkshire accent, there, <laughs> um, Velcro, get all these together, That does need wrapping one way as well. It wouldn't probably velcro the other way, I don't think. Looking at the way the velcro is made, the velcro is uh, is indeed one sided. So, and this was the pack. So the pack needs to fit like the top, really, not the bottom. The bottom's too wide. So I think, I can't remember where it was now, but this needs to wrap around at the bottom. And then it needs to roll something like that so that it's about the width of the top. And then there she goes. What's quality this, I must admit. Can't see why I want to pay double for another one to be quite honest with you. What I've seen there, that's pretty impressive. So there we go. Hopefully that's helpful. Let's see how we get on. So to use it in the wild, that's the main thing. And see how it works. Um, what's it made? Oh, it's made in China. Um, 0821 0621 copyright. So I think it's might be a fairly new design. I'm sure it's not a manufacturing date. Um, so there we go again. There's the label. So it's the Observer. It's granite grey. There was only this colourway, only this option. Uh, when I was buying it, so you can see uh, max load 120 kilograms, a bit more of the specs there. I wanted to take a look again, make sure that's showing that okay. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Hopefully, that's helpful. Cheers.